everybody John Osborne here today is April 28th 2017 this is the FX educational outlook uh, by the way you can follow me on stock twits or Twitter at trader John O let's start out by looking at the Aussie yen you can see we've been watching this bounce that we had on the weekly a little bit of a move up that we see here and what we're looking for is a bit of a a, a pullback that lets us have an entry um, we got that on the 120 and so far it's been moving up and we started to move up above this previous pivot here we're just getting above it now so it looks like there's a potential entry to go long here breaking above this recent pivot here as we bounce a little bit higher now keep in mind that our weekly is still looking bearish and other than that we're looking pretty bullish so there's a good opportunity for a potential to go long at the reopen on uh, Sunday night with the Swiss yen, we've been watching this consolidation channel that you can see here on the 120. You can also see it on the 240 down here. And this is moving inside of a weekly pennant pattern that we're seeing here that looks a little bit bearish. But we are looking rather bullish in the daily, a little bit mixed across the board. So until we get a direction on here, I want to see what happens. This breakout here might have been a good potential entry, but it seemed like we were heading kind of lower on our momentum at the point that that happened making that not a great the greatest entry here we're starting to see a little bit of movement up but we came back down and broke through the support line today and then we ended up right on the support line at around the close as well as we near the close but we are expecting this to run higher we are looking bullish on the daily and the uh, weekly and we are breaking higher so let's see if we can get that one to move a little bit higher and in the euro US dollar can see we are gap we gapped up over the full week here uh, and then we went high and came back and pretty much went down and retested this previous high here so if I move this line up a little bit uh, you can see we actually closed a little bit below that line and we're more in line with the top of this little bit of a pennant that we have here and that's about where we stand so we're also consolidating in this one as well so we'll be able to watch that consolidation channel with a low of around 1.085 11 and a high of about 1.09503 so watch for a breakout there for the pound US dollar you can see on our daily we're making this nice move up on this um, area here and you know, we, already, we already took profits on this move and you can see we are breaking higher our next resistance that's ahead of us on the weekly is way up at 1.344.39 and if we look at our daily, that's about where it is as well. Uh, maybe a little bit of a consolidation here and a target earlier of 1.31202 to be looking at. Okay, and finally, more in the bearish side of things, we've got the Aussie US dollar. And we're watching for the potential break here. Now look how bearish we are on our daily, our daily here and our weekly. Um, we're still bullish on our monthly, but that's pretty long term. And what we're seeing is a little bit of a run up, up before we come back down again. So let's watch this trend line here for potential break lower. That would be around 74503. And that'll do it for today. Hope you have a good weekend and a great week next week. We'll be watching out for the FOMC and non-farm payroll news next week on Wednesday and Friday respectively. So watch for a little bit of uh, uh, doldrums on Tuesday and Wednesday and possibly on Thursday prior to the NFP.